Hey everybody, it's the Ionic Guy. You join me from inside my new 2024 Hyundai Ionic 6 and wait for it, SE rear wheel drive. That's right. I was able to get one of the rarer cars in my area of the United States. So this all kind of stemmed from the insane lease deals that were happening in March and April. And I reached out to my local dealership and there were a couple in the state of Connecticut and by the time they were able to reach out and offer to trade a car so that they could get the SE rear wheel drive for me, they had already sold. The crazy $239 a month with $239 down, that was just causing these cars to get bought up as quick as possible. And so they were able to find another one and it was still at the port down in Philadelphia and I waited three weeks and now I finally have it. I signed the lease about a week ago and now it's my car for the next two years. So on that note, I just want to give a huge thanks to Key Hyundai of Manchester. Big shout out to Ed over there at Key Hyundai. If you guys are looking to talk to a salesperson there, reach out to Ed. He'll take great care of you. Don't worry. I still have my Ionic 5. It's not going anywhere, at least right now. But the plan is to eventually trade it in for the mid-cycle refresh 2025 Ionic 5 when that goes on sale sometime this summer or fall. So for the last few months, I have been polling you guys on YouTube and on the Facebook group, asking you guys what you think I should get for the next car for the channel. And for the most part, it was pretty much Ionic 6. But there was a fair number of you who did kind of want me to get a Kona Electric, the refreshed version for 2024. And that originally was the plan because my fiance currently has a Kona Electric. The lease ends July 4th, I believe. So we would have to replace it at that point in time. But having the majority of you guys say Ionic 6 and the insane lease deal was just hard to say no to. After all taxes and fees and everything, I'm paying $329 per month. So to put that into perspective, I currently pay to finance my Ionic 5 just about $700 per month. And keep in mind, I have an incredibly good interest rate, 1.15% for 60 months, and the Ionic 5 still qualified for the full $7,500 tax credit at that point in time. So that was best case scenario for buying an Ionic 5 at the time and it's still more than double what I'm paying to lease this car. Some of the other reasons why I do think the Ionic 6 makes sense. So first things first, you might already know my fiance and I are moving to Boston this summer. Now in my Ionic 5 in the dead of winter, driving back and forth from Boston to central Connecticut, if it's below 15 degrees out, I can just barely make it here and back on a single charge. So Logically for me, I'm going to be doing a lot of back and forth between Connecticut and Boston because all my family and friends are still here. With the insane range of this Ionic 6 SE rear wheel drive, it's rated for 360 miles. The Kona Electric would probably be pretty similar to my Ionic 5. The Kona Electric also doesn't come with a heat pump. So in the dead of winter, driving on the highway at high speeds, the cabin of that car is just gonna suck a lot of power compared to a vehicle with the heat pump. But then again, heat pumps do lose a ton of their efficiency the closer you get to like zero degrees Fahrenheit. But either way, if this car only had resistive heaters, I'd still make it here and back pretty easily with the massive range of this car. And on the topic of range, so far I've put 110 miles on this thing and I'm currently averaging 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Just blows my Ionic 5 away. This morning on my commute to my day job, I averaged 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour over 15 miles at around 72, 73 miles per hour. Just bonkers. And it's still kind of cool out. It was like 40 degrees this morning, so it wasn't even best case scenario. So my next reason, because I am going to be ditching my existing Ionic 5 this summer, having this Ionic 6, the 2024, it's very similar to my Ionic 5. Same battery pack, all the same components more or less, same software system. My Ionic 5 and this Ionic 6 get the same software updates at the same time. So this will allow me to continue to cover even the Ionic 5 into the future to give you guys information on what's going on with it in terms of recalls and everything because this car is basically the exact same car as the Ionic 5. So all you Ionic 5 owners, you don't have to worry. I'm still gonna be here. I'm gonna still be able to cover this platform and what issues might unfold with your cars in the future. Now in terms of that, 
coverage. Guys, there's going to be so much coverage of the Ionic 6 here now. And I'm really excited about covering the Ionic 6. And the reason is, when I bought my Ionic 5 in January of 2022, I had zero idea that this was going to turn into something as big as it has gotten. So there was testing that I didn't do when I first got my Ionic 5 that I would have if I knew this was going to turn into what it is today. Namely, testing the battery capacity and the brand new range when I got the car. Because I never collected that data, I don't have anything to compare to, so I can't say with my Ionic 5 what the battery degradation is actually like, because I just don't have those original results. But here with this Ionic 6, I'm gonna take it on a full true range test. I'm gonna charge it up to 100%. I'm gonna bring it down to 0%. Then we're gonna charge it up. We're gonna see how much energy goes into the battery pack, how much goes out of the battery pack. And that'll give us a baseline to reference in the future with this car after the two years is up. Now, I don't think it's gonna be a considerable amount of degradation, but it's still something I would like to test. Now, this car was picked up from a dealership in New York State, so they did have to drive it back here. So I've only put 110 miles on it, but the odometer does have 270. So I am hoping to do this range test relatively soon. I'm gonna wait for good mild weather, no wind, and we're gonna see what we can get. And now having the most efficient vehicle in the United States in my garage, I wanna do some testing with hypermiling to see just how much range we can actually eke out of this thing. Another reason why I kind of chose the Ionic 6 over the Kona Electric, the Kona Electric doesn't come with any charging benefits where the Ionic 6, just like the Ionic 5, comes with two years of unlimited 30 minute DC fast charging sessions at Electrify America. And this is gonna be critical for me because moving to Boston, the apartment complex that we're planning on living in does not have EV chargers. So we are going to be relying on public infrastructure. Now, that's not an ideal situation for me, but the way I see it is it can be a real world test of what it's actually like for somebody to live in an apartment and not have chargers there and have to deal with lines and congestion and broken chargers and all that good stuff. So plan on a lot of coverage of what it's like living without a home charger. This car does not have any of those bells and whistles of the limited trim, but even still, I'm pretty happy with the amenities in this car. I'm actually finding the fabric seats pretty comfortable. I don't mind the fabric at all. I've owned cars with fabric seats in the past. The black interior is growing on me. It's a little dark in here. I would like to have some color and there's no accent lights, but I am gonna add some aftermarket LED accent lighting in here and I will show you guys that in a video. This car is the red color. It wouldn't have been my first choice, but honestly, it's growing on me. Um, I've never owned a red car, so this is totally new for me. Um, it's not the worst looking color in the world. You know what? I, think it looks pretty nice actually. So by getting the most base version of the Ionic 6, I just wanted to share with you guys what living with a base model is like. Sure, it's a little stripped compared to the limited trim, but honestly, if you just want cheap commuting, nothing's going to beat this car. Cost to own and fuel this thing, especially if you're using the free Electrify America, is going to save you a ton of money. But we'll get into that in future videos. And I also just want to show that you don't need all wheel drive. You can get by just fine with rear wheel drive. People did it for many decades before all wheel drive became a real standard thing. So we're obviously gonna do some winter testing, some testing in rain. We can compare the drivetrain to the Ionic 5 all wheel drive that I have. So the next time you see me in this car, the windows are gonna be tinted. I'm bringing it to the shop tomorrow. I'm gonna get the front windows, the back passenger windows, and the rear windshield tinted. I just feel very exposed in this car. There's no privacy glass on this thing whatsoever, so I gotta get these windows tinted ASAP. I'm gonna share with you guys the accessories that I find for the car, and. Just a lot of good content coming in the near future. I mean, it's gonna take me probably a year to make everything that I wanna make on this Ionic 6. So make sure you stay tuned. Obviously, I'm gonna do those big major milestone reviews. I'll probably do 30 days, four months, maybe eight months, maybe 12 months. I don't know how I'm gonna split it up. I've traditionally done every six months, but we'll see how things go. Got a really busy schedule in the next few weeks. I've got the Kia EV9 coming tomorrow for a week. And then a few weeks from now, I've got the Genesis GV60 coming. So make sure you're subscribed because there's a ton of good stuff coming in the near future. Let me know if you think I made the right decision down in the comments section. I know a lot of you are going to be really excited. There's probably going to be some of you who are disappointed though. Unfortunately, I can't make everybody happy. Now, if you're a current Ionic 6 owner, you might notice I've got the Ionic 6 
pixel charging indicators on this shirt. I've got a link down in the description to my spread shop store where you can order all sorts of merchandise. You can get mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, hats, you name it with this design on it. So if you guys also want some accessories for your Ionic 6, I've got sunglasses holders and I've got cup holder enlargers. Check those out at ionicguy.com. I can confirm that my auto door lock module works on every trim of the Ionic 6 in the United States, most likely across the rest of the world as well. If you wanna purchase that as well, it's also at my website or if you're international on my Etsy shop. So anyway guys, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take care everybody.